The dashboard is your home for analyzing the performance of your campaigns. You can review keywords, ads, assets, and everything else by selecting them from the left-hand menu. We'll select keywords as an example. Now, once you select it, all of your keywords should appear in the middle of the dashboard. As you scroll across, you'll see columns where you can analyze various metrics of your keywords. At the top right, you have the date range selector. This is where you can view different date ranges for your keywords. Now the columns below, these show the totals based upon the activity during that time period. For example, if you were looking at the last seven days and viewing the cost column, you would see how much you spent on your keywords during that seven day period. You'd have the total spend and the spend per keyword during this time period. If you're looking at impressions, it will display the total impressions you've received and also the impressions per keyword. Now the average cost column, that shows the average cost per click over the chosen date range. Again, this can be an average of all your keywords or if you look at them individually, the average cost per click per keyword. Now this data will change based upon whether you're viewing at the campaign level or on an ad group level or an account level. You might notice that the Google Ads platform is structured in the best practice format, which should help you navigate through the platform. The campaign is always at the top level, and here's where you can edit the main settings, such as campaign name, location, budgets, and bids. You then have the ad groups level below that. When you click into it, you can see the ads and keywords. So you can activate and pause your campaigns at any time. In the top left, you should see a green or gray button for the campaign you've clicked into. When this is green, the campaign is active. And when it is gray, the campaign is paused. This applies to ad groups and keywords as well. If you go to the ad group level, you can toggle your ad groups on and off at any time by either clicking on the button and changing the status, or selecting multiple options, then clicking edit, and then clicking pause. This applies to all other aspects of your campaign. We'll continue to go over the dashboard in more detail throughout the training.